Next we will learn about block replica placement policy. What strategy is used to store the blocks? Which blocks should be stored in which data node? These questions will be answered for two different scenarios. Consider a cluster with 4 racks and 16 data nodes. And as usual block replication factor is 3. Block replica placement policy is based on three important factors. Reliability, availability, and network bandwidth utilization. Soon you will come to know about these factors. First scenario is when data is written from outside world into HDFS cluster. For example, copying data from local system to HDFS cluster. In this scenario, a data node is chosen randomly to store the first replica. In our case it is data node 7 of rack 2. The second replica is stored on another different data node in different rack. That is, data node 13 of rack 4. And the third replica is stored on different data node in the same rack. That is data node 16 of rack 4. So data is not just stored in single machine. Instead it is stored in different machines across the cluster. If data node 7 is down or the disk is corrupted, block is still available in data node 13 and 16. Also if rack 2 fails, block is still available in rack 4. This means data is stored reliably on HDFS and it is always available. Writing data involves network bandwidth utilization. Because, it is not just writing data on the disk but also transferring the data to different data nodes. Here network delay is added to the write operation. As a result write operation becomes an expensive operation. Second scenario is when data is written by some task inside the cluster. Consider a task running in data node 10. This task writes data into HDFS. In this scenario, first replica is stored on the data node where the writer task exists. In our case, it is data node 10. Second and third replica are stored in the same way as in the previous scenario. In our case, it is data node 2 and data node 4 of rack 1. The only difference is that a data node is not chosen randomly to store the first replica. Rather it is written on the same data node where the task is running. Even in this scenario, data is highly reliable and available. But less data is transferred across the network. This will certainly improve write performance. So. In general there is always a trade-off between reliability or availability, and network bandwidth utilization. It means, if number of replicas is more, then the system is highly reliable and available. But more network bandwidth is utilized and less write efficient. If number of replicas is less, then the system is not highly reliable and available but network utilization will be less and will give better write performance. That was all about block replica placement policy.